Hello guys, um, I thought I'd sh show you an unboxing and a little bit of review slash overview on a um, model car I've had for a long time. It is Enterprise's 50th anniversary, or at least one of their 50th anniversary model cars that they produced. So I'm going to first off show you an unboxing and then I'll show you the model itself. So, let's get going. First of all, I'm going to open up the box. It opens like that, and there's this card. I'm not going to show you what it is. It's kind of private. And then there's foam, obviously, to protect it. And watch this once you take this off. See, there's the car itself. It's in this thing. And let me see if I can get this out without damaging to take that off. This is a very um, nice model, so I'm definitely being very careful with it. I'm going to move the box so you can see this here. Make sure it's in the frame. And take a look at that. I honestly do like the color of it. Um, like I said, I don't know how long I've had this. But I've had it for a long time, I will say that. Um, as you can see, let's hit the movement chair. As you can see, there's the seats, there's the steering wheel. Let me see if I can let you see that. There's the driver's side. It's where the driver would sit and drive. Here's the front passenger seat. And then there's the back seat. Back there, Prada, turn that so you can see the back seat. See that back there? Um, this is definitely an old style car. You don't hardly see the car like this much anymore. Every once in a while, if you get lucky, you might, but you definitely don't much anymore. But back in back back in time, you would see a lot of cars like this out on the roads. But you don't see cars like this out on the roads today very much. Because cars have gotten so modern. Um, but take a look at the front of this. If I can show you the front. Um, it's very much of silver. And there's the headlights. This is not remote controlled, by the way, just to let you know. This is not a remote control car. Um, like I said, there's the headlights. There's the front of, there's the hood where the engine would be. And there's the there's where you would drive it back there, and I don't think this opens. Oh, it does open up. See that in there? I don't know if that could hold. Oh, it holds. Okay, you can kind of see in there a little bit. Oops, sorry, lost focus. There we go. That's that's where you would get in to change, like do stuff in the motor and things like that. There's the, there's where the license plate would be. Ooh. But this is just a model car, so it doesn't have a real license plate. But now let's turn it to its side. You've already seen its side. But I'll go ahead and turn it to its side again. There's the, that's the whole car itself. Um... Here's the trunk back here. We're now going to move to the back of it. Let's see if this opens. Oh, the trunk opens as well. You can't really see inside much. But it looks like they've got a tire in there, like a spare tire if one blows out or something. Like if you had a flat tire on the road or a blowout or something, there's a spare tire if you need to replace. Um, shut that. This... Okay, those are the brake lights. That's where, when you put on the brakes, like these things, there and there, that's where the light would come on. And so that's that for you. And another thing, I wonder if these doors, let's see if these doors open. Oh, that door opens, but you have to be very careful with it, just to warn you. 
Now you can kind of see inside there a little bit. There, let me move the camera so you can kind of see this. Now that's the that's the door on the driver's side. That's where the driver would get in this seat. There's the steering wheel, the speedometer, and all the um, um, things that tell, like the gas, speedometer, everything would be right there. Let's turn on its other side so you can see this side of it. This is the side that the passenger would open, hit that door. This will open. This one opens as well, as you can see there. Just slightly turn the car so you can see. That's where the front passenger would get in. And it's just the clock striking. And here's the back. There's the back seat. I'm not really sure how on this car they would get in the back, but I know there's some way, obviously. But this is just a little overview of this car for you. And shut the door. Turn it to back to its side and zoom out. That's the car rolling. Make it roll. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this car review unboxing unboxing and review and um thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time